Hi guys, uh, Paolo here. Um, we are doing uh, today a review of a novel I read in my vacations. It's called uh, Mutant in Space by Rod Walker. Um, it's a novel um, in, the, in the series to ta The Thousand Worlds. Um, after checking, uh, the, he's got three novels. Um, Mutant in Space is the first one, then there's uh, Alien Game, and then um, the last one, this, this one is published in 2016, and then the last one was published in 2017, it's called Young Men's War. Um, basically, these stories, um, it, it, it's, a spe it's called... It, in, in, the co in the cover, in the cover, no, sorry, in the synopsis, it says that this is a new line, line um, uh, kind of stories like uh, Starship Trooper and so on. Although I have read Starship Trooper, I can't really see the connection, okay? The only reason he is connected to Einlein is because, as Einlein, he is more right um, leaning politically. Um, freedom of speech and so on, and less left-leaning. Left-leaning. In this case, Rod Walker uh, goes at great length on this novel to um, criticize um, the left, uh, the communist. In, in this case, uh, bear, bear in mind that this novel was written in 2016. Um, the editor was Vox Day. Um, it's published by Castalia House. Uh, we also publish other sci-fi, fantasy and so on novels. Uh, what can I say about this one? Okay, basically we follow uh, 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 a young uh, boy who uh, has grown up in a world where the social party, ACA, also known as Communist Party, is being uh, inf has been growing in influence. His father was a communist, uh, a social party, sorry, social party um, uh, rebel, rebel, no, but uh, sympathizer and, and even uh, going to put bombs and so on. Um, then he was killed. Okay, this is not a spell because it's on the second page. Uh, afterwards, his brother. And, uh, and and his mother are also social party uh, sympathizers. They go to the rallies and so on. And then a guy appears um, and um, delivers a speech, which uh, our main character um, can see. It's basically propaganda. Propaganda, like imagine it, it's in the forties, so like the Nazi and the communist propaganda. Um, and he can't really understand how people are. Um, taken uh, gaps. Oh, what's this? Uh, this is something new. This, but it's nothing new. It's propaganda, basically. It's like um, uh, thinking how could uh, 30 or 40 percent of the Germans uh, follow uh, uh, the, the bad guys from the World War II, or like how could uh, in communist China and so on people still support that um, party when that party uh, was uh, was was killing their own and so on. Uh, there is some introspective in that, in that regard, which is what's fine, okay, I, I liked that part. Um, although I can understand that some people don't like this because, as I said, if most, uh, let's be real, if most of the fantasy and sci-fi authors out there are left-leaning, uh, this guy is not, he's right-leaning. Is it wrong? No, it's not. It's a perspective. It's like uh, everyone has a perspective of things that you think and you believe it's correct. Is it? We don't know. We never know unless um, it's putting in practice. And to be real, it's impossible to have... Uh, a perfect, uh, by the book, communist, fascist, democracy, and so on. Uh, it's not possible. Everything or every ideology is um, 
different. There, is a, there are a lot of democracy in the world. Uh, we're talking it. Uh, the majority of the countries have uh, some kind of democracy, uh, but it's different. It's like you've got, and the same applies with the communists. Like uh, I, I'm not like a, a fascist, but communist in, in because it was in in the government uh, in in North Korea, in China, in uh, Soviet Union, and Cuba, and so on, and all of them were communist, but they had different experts. Some were Maoists, some were um, the, uh, follow a, um, a Stalin uh, ideology and so on. So, and even within the same ideology, since the people that are um, in the front and the, the, the people that uh, are governed by, since they are, they are different, the, the what comes out of it, it's different. Okay, let's... And so, it's cool to see another perspective, mainly because <clears throat> most people, most uh, uh, authors are left-leaning. Um, either they are like, uh, in, in America we call, the, the Demo we call it the Democratic Party, but uh, uh, in Europe we don't call it like that, we call it Socialist Party. Um, and so what, it was cool. And then the story itself, it's basically simple. It's uh, a guy that uh, is trying to escape the social party, goes to a ship, understands a bit uh, about labor and the, 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 the problems with social party and the, and the, the, the other ones. And so um, it, it was cool. To, it was cool to see that, that, that divergence. The story itself. It's not that good. It's uh, 170 pages. It's very short. Um, if you are trying to see something right wing, uh, or at least not right wing, but uh, critical of the left, I would advise to read this one. This is very short. But if you are not, don't don't do it. Don't don't even bother it. If you, if you are upset with the right wing, the, the, the critical mind of the left. Uh, don't bother reading this because you are not going to enjoy it. You go to read good reads and most one star are people like that. I enjoy it because it was right wing. It's not right wing, it's critical of the left wing. Okay, um, And so on. To me, three out of five stars. That's cool. I have to do two other books I'm going to read. I don't know if this follows the same characters or new characters. Um, to me, that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day.